Well, I have left Adrian for a little while and I'm joined now by Bentley's design director, Stefan Silav. Stefan, wow. Talk me through the two seats in the Barquetta design, which is fantastic. Thank you, Vicky. Uh, I think our aim was to portray Grand Touring at its most exhilarating. And it was also, despite the fact we see a very futuristic and modern car, uh, a nod towards our classic Bentleys, like the Birkin blower. Coming to you, the question of your two seats, the blower had two seats and no roof. And when you look at the seats and imagine the driver and the passenger, they are surrounded by the exterior, almost like a scarf cocooned by the exterior of the Bacalar. And another idea was also to give a salute to our coach building department, Bentley Malina. They always made pieces of art, as you know, and I hope the Bacala will be seen as a piece of art in the future. So it is futuristic looking and I can see that there's a sense of the EXP100 GT about it. Exactly. Uh, we obviously got our inspiration from the EXP100 GT, uh, which was the manifesto for the brand and for the future of the brand. And we took a, a few details, like a very strong statement around the front grille, typical Bentley Matrix grille. This time, only two lights with a very specific uh, light graphic and at the rear of the car very very three-dimensional rear lights again like in the EXP100 GT. And also there are sustainable materials that you showcased in the EXP100 GT. Absolutely, uh, we gave a, a promise nine months ago and here we go the first uh, promise are fulfilled so for example when you look at the exterior paint uh, yellow flame it contains ash of rice husk and they develop in a very, very uh, sustainable way this magic metallic glow. In the interior, we used the 5,000 year old uh, river wood in an open pore finish, but also in a glossy finish. And to add on, we also used uh, woolen tweed from the Scottish borders. Now, you must have many favorite items in there, but which is your most favorite, do you think? Well, the most favorite one, I think, is what we have done with the embroidery in the seats. Embroidery is a craftsmanship we develop uh, for our customer in the factory for many, many years. And we deliver it to them, they are happy with it, and we in reinvented it on a higher level and again made a very, very modern statement. Oh, well, thank you so much, Stefan. I think it looks incredible. Well done. Thank you, Vicky. So I'm rejoined by Adrian. Adrian, this is not a concept car. This is actually going to be made. It is. Um, we will build 12 of these cars. We'll start deliveries in the next year. And everyone will have exactly the same technical basis as this car. But you can fully expect that from the customers that buy these cars, they will choose trims and paints and different features to be totally individualistic. But the car is real and we're very proud of it. So could I be one of the 12 owners of one of these? Sadly, again, they're all pre-sold. <laughs> now, I'd like to take you back to what you said earlier, that mm. you would like Bentley to become the world's most sustainable luxury car company. Mm. What are the next steps for you for this? So that is a long journey, um, and we will take systematic steps to get there. But every journey starts with the first step. So we've already shown the Bentayga hybrid. We'll hybridize every car in our range. We've shown the XP100 GT, the future of luxury. And just nine months later, most of the materials that we've trialled and experimented with there, we're able to bring into this fantastic vehicle. And it will be built in a carbon neutral factory. But over the next two weeks, we'll be making more announcements about that journey to, to become the most sustainable luxury car company. So watch this space. Yes, indeed, we will. Thank you so much, Adrian. Thank and thank you, ladies and gentlemen.